Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Stacy May. Well, what a beautiful Sunday we've had. Plenty of sunshine out there. Got our temperature above 60 degrees, almost 10 degrees above normal, and we are not stopping there. Let's take a look at live first morning Doppler radar. It has been nice and quiet for us, and it's going to stay that way for tonight and really for the next few days. We do have rain chances returning as the week goes on, especially for the end of the week and into the weekend. Timing on those, still some question marks, but we'll talk about that in your seven-day forecast in just a moment. But in the meantime, let's talk about how gorgeous it is outside. Look at that blue sky with just a few of those mid to high level clouds kind of mixing in. That's our Kincaid Tower Cam from the top of the Hampton Inn in downtown Owensboro. That sunshine, it got us above 60 today and it still feels pretty good out there. We've dropped back down to 58 degrees at the airport in Evansville and not much of a wind today. South southwest at five miles per hour. Now that will be increasing tomorrow. So it is going to be a breeze easier day tomorrow, but we should tack on a couple of degrees to our high temperature too. So here's a look at those temperatures across the tri-state now. Nobody's still in the 60s. We have all dropped back down uh, into the 50s and we'll just continue our fall through the 50s and into the 40s this evening and then we will drop it down into the upper 30s to around 40 it looks like for an overnight low. So not quite as chilly as it was this morning. You still need a jacket when you head out tomorrow morning though. Okay, we've got to watch the river, so let's run down some of them for you. The Ohio at Evansville still above flood stage at 44.2 feet, still expecting a crest just a little bit higher, 44.3 feet uh, come Tuesday morning. Wabash at Mount Carmel now falling slowly from 21.9 feet. The Green of Calhoun expected to crest on Tuesday at 29.8 feet. The white at Petersburg has crested. It is falling and it will fall below flood stage Wednesday morning. Right now it's at 20.7. Then the Little Wabash at Carmi is cresting right now at 29.1 feet. So we'll continue to watch those for you. At least we've got dry weather coming for the next few days. And that's what Future Tracker is showing. Again, just a few of those mid to high level clouds around as we go through tonight. And that'll be the case for tomorrow too. So again, plenty of sunshine, a little bit filtered at times during the day tomorrow, but Nice and dry, nice and warm too. So we are going to get that high, I think, into the mid 60s tomorrow. It'll be breezier than today, though. Then tomorrow night into Tuesday, I think we'll thicken up those clouds a little bit, but we're still going to have some sun filtering through them, especially later in the day and into uh, Tuesday evening. And then we'll pick up more cloud cover on Wednesday. But right now, Wednesday still looks like a mainly dry day and one of our warmest ones of the week. So here's your forecast for this evening. Mainly clear, we drop it into the 40s. Heading to a chilly overnight low in the upper 30s to around 40 degrees. Tomorrow looks beautiful, mostly sunny, breezy, even a bit warmer than today. Highs between 60 and 65, and look at us climb from there. 66 Tuesday, upper 60s Wednesday. We may top 70 on Thursday. Scattered rain chances return for the end of the week and into the weekend, though, and we'll have to fine tune the timing of those, Noah, over the next few days. But. Big warm up coming this week. Still a couple of good days in there yeah. and 71 Thursday, yeah. Stacy. We will take it. Looks good. Thank you so much. Blake's here now with sports in the SEC tournament bracket. It